easiest. It's just me. What are you doing? Well, the door was standing open and I was concerned. You casually walk into people's houses to scare the hell out of them? Do you always shower with the door standing wide open? No, I went, out, I went outside to get the paper. My phone rang. I came out. Why am I explaining this to you? What are you doing here? Just give me a second. These were by way of an apology for scaring you outside of Kelly's last night. You mean by following me? I have no idea how I'll make up for that. How about an explanation? An explanation? What are you doing? And why do you look like hell? No, I don't. Yes, you do. You're usually perfectly pressed. It must be the military thing in okay, you. Okay, okay. I've looked better. What's going on? I mean, is someone after you? Not at the moment. I'm not sure you could say the same. Okay. I know you're worried about the whole Jax thing, but Jax is not going to do anything. And so far, he hasn't. I spent the night in my car across the street, just in case. Okay. That's really nice of you. Your muffins are really nice. Giving a damn is really nice. But this has to stop. Well, I are fine. Look, I happen to think the situation with Jax is more serious than you realize. Okay, even if you're right, you haven't been paid for this. You're, it's, you're... it's not about the money. Of course it is. You have to make a living. I mean, what happened with your job interview? I went to D.C. Look, I'm... And? I did the interview. I'm asking if you got the job. Look, this is not about me. You have to be more careful. You can't leave doors standing open. Okay, if I promise to keep my door shut from now on, are you going to tell me if you got the job? It's a large house. It's easy for intruders to have. You're not going to tell me, really. I mean, getting any kind of personal information from you is like pulling teeth. I'm not somebody who's going to open a vein every time I'm in the room. Oh, I've never known that about you. Look, I have to stay focused on the task at hand. That's keeping you and Jocelyn safe. Come on, Sean. You haven't been paid for that in months. Great, she's awake. Where's Mercedes? Oh, she has the morning off. I was supposed to stay home with her, and I forgot about this huge thing going on at that hotel. I barely had time to take a shower. Okay, look, you, you go get dressed, and I'll take care of Jocelyn. You will? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, blueberries are popular, but I'm partial to coffee muffin cakes myself. <laughs> what? Should we save some for Rufus? Yeah, he looks pretty hungry, doesn't he? Well, uh, Rufus doesn't deserve it. What? Jocelyn and I have been taking swimming lessons. She keeps wanting to bring Rufus into the pool with us. Don't you? <laughs> yeah, I don't think Rufus is a water dog. He's much happier here at the house. He's more like a baby crib house mm. type dog. <laughs> you know, right? Mommy. Yeah. Whoa. Hi. You're really Mommy. good with her. Well, she is my favorite client, bar none. And don't you sound so surprised by it? Sorry. Better cost you a. Coffee cake. <laughs> What's that? You know, you're not being paid to guard us or babysit her. I can't keep letting you do this. Yeah? And what if I'm more like you and don't take no for an answer? Is that some kind of throwdown? <laughs> what do you think? You don't want me to go, do you? <laughs> Okay, don't get me wrong. It's, it's not that I don't appreciate your help. It's just you can't give up your life indefinitely. Look, you've made it real clear that you're not asking me for anything. That doesn't mean I can't look out for you on my own time. Did you get the job or not? I got an offer. Oh! But I'm not going to take it. Why? I mean, it's Washington, D.C. I'm sure they're going to pay you tons of money to do private security for some political type. How fun. Yeah, it's not that kind of job. Oh. Well, what is it? What are you guarding? <laughs> I got offered a position teaching science at a D.C. area middle school, okay? Teaching? Yeah. I did other things before I picked up a gun. Wow! I was great in science. Oh, yeah. Until I dropped out of nursing school. But that wasn't because I was a bad student. I was very smart. I just had a train wreck of a life. I had great grades and everything. <laughs> you must have had great grades. Yeah, I enjoy science and school. You must have gone to college. I must have. Well, you're not going to tell me anything. I bet there are so many things about your past that would surprise me. And since I know how much you hate surprises. <laughs> From being a science teacher to being a Marine. 
Have you heard from Jax? No, he'll call when he's ready. No, it doesn't seem strange to you. He hasn't made more of an effort to stay in contact with his only daughter. You'd be a really good teacher. <laughs> I mean, especially for boys. You know, boys need role models. I mean, Michael. So yeah, I did. didn't take the job. Really. You know, Michael got into PCU. He doesn't want to go. He just wants to follow in Sonny's footsteps. It's pretty normal for a boy to want to take up his father, especially when that father is a powerful man. It would have been great for Michael to have a mentor like you. Really would have. I mean, look, you had a whole life before you joined the military. You were a science teacher. You were able to impact children's lives before they decided to go down the wrong path. Yeah. I would love to save every kid, but it's not possible. I have to stay focused on the child I can protect. Like Jocelyn, huh? You know, call it instincts, call it whatever you want, but Jax isn't letting this go. You know, Jax knows if he stuck around and wanted to fight, then it would only hurt Jocelyn. He's not going to do anything to upset his daughter. Now you're putting a lot of confidence in a man who feels he has every reason to hate you. You know what you can do for me? You're not going to ask me to stand guard, are you? You can take the job in D.C. Really? That would make you happy. And that would make me happy. Hmm. Go ahead. Thank, thank you to Sean for bringing this muffins and taking such good care of us. You're welcome. I'm counting on Rufus to protect you both. You know that, right? He will. Don't you worry. <laughs> hey. If you need anything. We'll be fine. Right, Jocelyn? We'll be fine. <laughs> Go. Go live your life. Well, I guess I don't have a choice, do I? You take care. You too. Hey, thank you. I mean, really, thank you for 